It's one weekend of the year where everyone is Italian. We are talking about Bloomfield's Little Italy Days. Hi, I'm Tonya Caruso. Welcome to Comcast Newsmakers. And joining us in our studios right now is Sal Ricchetti. He's the event producer for Bloomfield's Little Italy Days. Thank you for coming in and spending time with us. Well, great. Thanks for having me. Big event every year. And really, what does this mean to the community? Well, it's, it's not only for the Bloomfield community, but it's for, for also the whole city of Pittsburgh. And we understand that we get uh, people come in from seven different states. But it's a huge, huge event for, for Bloomfield. And Bloomfield is known as, you know, Pittsburgh's Little Italy. So... Uh, so it's great to, to have the festival right in the heart of Bloomfield. All right, so let's tell folks um, when it will take place this year and kind of give them a, an idea of where in sure. Bloomfield this okay, all takes place. it takes over the streets of Liberty Avenue. It's probably about an eighth of a mile long, starting from Dell's Restaurant all the way down through West Penn Hospital. So mm -hmm. we're looking to actually add and grow the festival with more vendors and some kids' ac activities and so forth. But okay. of course, it's all about the food. All Good. about the food. and. Um, the dates this year. Okay, I'm sorry. The dates are September 28th, which is Friday, uh, uh, Saturday, and Sunday, so 28th through the 30th. Okay, so all right, you mentioned it first, the food. Everything sure. under the sun Italian is there. Absolutely. I mean, all the, the famous restaurants from Bloomfield, you have, you know, Dell's, you have D'Amico's, you have the Pleasure Bar, you have Lumber Dozies, and then we have a lot of different outside vendors that come in too. Tambellini's does a great job you know, and so forth. Um, so. Great entertainment as Absolutely. well. Absolutely. Entertainment. I mean, I'm working on a, a headline entertainer, uh, Peaches from the former Peaches and Herb, to come in and maybe be our featured entertainer for Friday evening. Then we got uh, Morella the, magi <laughs> the Magician. Morella the ma Musician. <laughs> <laughs> well, she's probably a magician, too. Yeah. Anyway, uh, uh, a lot of Italian featured entertainers, uh, the Cavaliers, uh, a lot of different Frank Sinatra, different type of impersonators, and we have some some general bands as well too, just to kind of mix up a little variety. Right. You know, okay. The Magic Moments, a great oldies band from Bloomfield, will be there also Saturday night. And so, yes. when people talk about this, though, they also really talk about the competition and the bocce tournament. Sure, definitely got to have a bocce tournament, and I believe there's about 12 teams, and that's uh, over the whole Saturday and Sunday, and that's right in front of the Pleasure Bar, and you know, we have huge crowds for that. So. To, yeah. to, for the tournament. And so as we continue to talk, we're putting on the screen a website phone number where people can go for more information, an sure. email where they can ask questions. What do you think this really means in terms of um, what it means to the community and where is Bloomfield these days in terms of its growth and its development? Well, I, I know that they're trying to, to grow the, the development of Bloomfield, you know, every day, you know, by bringing in new businesses in and you know, and so forth. So uh, I'm not part of that group, but uh, certainly with this festival, this will help draw a lot of uh, uh, people to Bloomfield and will brand Bloomfield on a whole right. you know, city level. Any idea how many people um, you expect at the well, festival? Well, I was told 40 to 50,000 people last year. I'm, and I was there, I go every year, you know. I, I'm, I, I would say a good 25, 30,000 people were there. Yeah. So, I mean, it's huge, it really is big. And so, so what does it take? Do you still need volunteers to help or where are we at Sure, with that? always could use volunteers, you know, so please call me if you'd like to volunteer and uh, any more vendors that will want to be involved. We're also, also looking mm -hmm. at, uh, you know, great vendors and not only food vendors, but uh, craft vendors and different types of things that, uh, that right. would be great for the, for the people. And what for you in putting this all together? I'm sure there are tons of challenges. What has been the favorite part so far? Uh, well, finding sponsors. <laughs> Is that the favorite the part or the challenge? That's the <laughs> well, challenge. That's the challenge. The favorite part, I would say, you know, dealing with the people, you know. So, uh, mm -hmm. and there's a lot of great people in Bloomfield, a lot of great businesses, yeah. and, you know, talking to them, getting to know them. Yeah. You know, and a so. great celebration to boot. We thank you so much for sure. coming in and spending time with us today. Great. We appreciate it. Sure. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. I'm Tonya Caruso. Thanks for watching Comcast Newsmakers. We'll see you next time. We're still on for half a second.